The pen rod or woodworking machine works from the center of templates and the table, and there are several ways of finding center using the centering scale fence or the centering bar, but for those times that you need accuracy to a thousandth of an inch, this is an elegant solution. Our friend David Bedrosian developed this method and made a plan to build a jig that's available on our website to buy for only $5. If you buy the plan, there's a discount code for $5 off this digital gauge that's also on the website, so the plan's essentially free. The jig is simple to build with David's cut list, dimensions, and directions, and it uses our lever clamps to attach to the table. He shows how to initially find the center of the table, and then to set the jig up in just a few seconds anytime you need it. Here we've removed the gauge from the jig to show how easy it is to replace, but most of the time we leave the gauge mounted on the plywood base so it's always ready to go. Just slide the jig to its stop against this side of the table and slide the fence to gently contact the gauge and your fence is perfectly centered on the table. There's another way to use this jig as long as it's on your table. You can very accurately measure the width of the workpiece by moving the fence out of the way, place the workpiece against the fence, and slide them together to gently touch the gauge. Remove the workpiece, then extend the gauge pointer to the fence and note the number. With this width, you can easily divide by 2 to find center. Set the gauge to the center dimension and slide the fence to contact the pointer and lock it. You then clamp your workpiece against the fence and it'll be perfectly centered. We cut a test piece using a vertical template mounted to the center of the template holder and measure the shoulders on either side of the cut. They were within a half a thousandth of an inch. The digital gauge can be used for other operations around your shop and on your panda router joinery machine. Here we wanted to set a rabbit to exactly a quarter inch deep, so we installed our auxiliary table, set the gauge to zero, and moved our bit measuring the depth of cut to exactly a quarter inch on the gauge. We made a little test cut and then measured how we did. Once again, we were within a thousandth of an inch. We'd love to see how you use your digital cage jig, so send us photos and show us your panda projects. Happy panda routing!